video we're going to talk about get snapshot before update which is this one and component did update okay so as you can see in the chart get snapshot before update is called just before a component is updated or component is mount updated sorry just before the component is updated right and right after the render method now if I check uh, it talks about that it invoked right before most recently rendered output is committed to the DOM uh, it captures some information from the DOM for example scroll position before it is potentially changed and it return the return value will be passed as a parameter to component did update which means if you're going to use get snapshot before update method then you, your component should implement component did update because whatever value you're going to return from get snapshot update is going to be passed to component did update so let's try that so we have uh, our main component which is uh, app.js and I have already imported home component inside of it and home component is the one where we'll go ahead and write all, all of the information so let's say again we have a button okay and then on click this dot handle on click Okay, and we create an arrow function, just event handler, and click me. And uh, of course, we want to change the state, so we need to define constructor method props. <coughs> and um, we need to use super and pass props inside of it and let's initialize a state let's put age currently we'll put it as nothing okay and um, what we want to do is when the button is clicked we want to set state and we want to set the value of the age to 28 okay so this is pretty simple now we want to implement uh, get snapshot before update so for that I will do this okay so it gives us access to prev props and prev state which means the previous uh, props and previous state uh, before it was changed we haven't passed any props so let's just pass some props from our parent component let's say I'll pass name okay so if I console log prev props Pre props and similarly we can do console log prev state prev state <coughs> and let's check so what do you expect to happen let's refresh the page you can see it says home component get snapshot before update should be used with component did update and I uh, guys, I did that on purpose. I purposely didn't define component did update to let you know that component did update is required because whatever value you're going to return from here will be passed to the component did update. So we need to go ahead and define component did update, which will be called after the component is updated. And as you can see, that the third parameter is snapshot, which means whatever is returned by get snapshot before update will be passed to component did update and we can use it the way we want to over there okay so let's update the component and see what happens click on it again we got an error why did we get the error because we are not returning anything like I said whatever is returned by get snapshot update will be passed to component update as a third parameter if we aren't returning anything then how can it pass so that's why you get the error so let's return something let's return XYZ for example for now of course the logic will be different depending on what is the requirement uh, for your project but uh, I'm just explaining it to you how it works okay so let's console log component okay snapshot and we should expect that this should give me the same value what is returned by get snapshot before update so let's have a look I click on it 
you can see the components updated and sure enough we get XYZ so let's have a look as to what is happening over here so if you look at the chart this is your Bible guys for the component life cycle you look at it you you will solve half of the problems to understand you know what is the sequence of execution of different life cycle methods you will get an understanding so let's start from here so when a click event happens it calls the method which is handle on click this does the set state so the first method we found was set state so what happens if you call set state is going to call render method which which is what is happening so let's console log rendered okay so it is rendered because the first time the component is mounted uh, the render method is called the second time when the set state is done which means the component is updated render method will be called okay so let's update it I click on that set state you can see render method is called again what happens next then get snapshot before update is called okay it's right after the render method but before the component did update so if we have a look you can see uh, okay I think it's better to write over here as to what these methods are doing I'm just going to get rid of all of this uh, temporarily this is just to show you the flow of how these methods are being called so get snapshot called I'm just putting the short form these methods are too long the name is too long did update called render called okay let's have a look the first time render got called because that's what happens on the initial mounting the next time when you click on the button which means the set state is done so if we look at so when the set state is done updating happens and we have the render method that is being called so let's click on the button so sure enough render is called what should the next method be get snapshot before update is that what it is yes it is then what happens then we have the component did update that will be called you can see did update is called right so this is exactly the sequence how it should be and, and you can always take a reference of this chart that react provides us great so if I go ahead and now just console log snapshot of course you can see that we are getting the snapshot over here okay now you can do anything or whatever you can do anything with this data but this is how the flow is okay great guys so we learned about get snapshot before update we learned about component did update and we already know about component did mount that whenever the component is mounted you know this particular method is called so in the next video we're going to talk about component will unmount and once that is done guys we will actually be in a good position to start coding and creating some real time uh, real world application okay uh, because all of this while we've been building concepts and I know it's been pretty long as well but uh, it was important to build concept before you actually start building so after once we're done with component uh, will unmount we'll start building applications and then further on we will learn more advanced concept later on okay guys if you did like the video please give a thumbs up please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't and i will see you in the next video thank you goodbye